Last night, we brought you a documentary on SCTV, the hit comedy show produced in Canada, which has become a phenomenon all over North America. Tonight, we feature the Mackenzie Brothers, the biggest stars of the biggest TV comedy success to come out of the great white North. They've created their own version of that elusive Canadian identity, and they have added a brand new word to our vocabulary. The journal's Leslie McKinnon meets the Hosers. Hey, do it. Do it. The scientific term for this massive social phenomenon is hoser mania. It is caused by these two very funny young men from Toronto, members of the SCTV comedy group. Bob and Doug, or rather Rick Moranis and Dave Thomas, were recently nominated for the Order of Canada for contributing to our sense of cultural identity. Anyone can be nominated. I think. But you might even get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Good day. Welcome to the Great White North. I'm Bob McKenzie. This is my brother, Doug. How's it going, eh? Okay, our topic today is the Great White North, because we got, like, lots of mail, eh? Like, about it, eh? Yeah. Okay, so, <clears throat> this By is By the it. way, this topic was my idea, eh? Yeah, okay. So the whole thing is the Great White North, and it's like, these are like the Great Lakes, and there's three of them. Yeah. And here's, Everyone this is knows, Hudson's Bay, where you three get, like, those striped coats. Yeah. Okay, now these is all, are all the provinces. And this G? is a, like a pimple right here. That's this Florida. Is, Take off. It's Florida. I, I remember me these. of pimples. This is Mexico. Okay, if you, these are the provinces. If you squeeze it, then see what happens. Take here. off. These are the provinces. O and R. And like, there's oh, no yeah. lines here. Like, you know, on a the map, there's lines. The if there's no all, lines in the real country. If like, you all remember your, your geography, take you'll off. remember the province of R. It was a joke because the, the CBC actually had asked um, our executive producer that on the Canadian half hour, um, which was two minutes longer than the syndicated half hour, which was going out to the States, they wanted that two minutes to be Canadian content. We thought, okay, you want Canadian content, we'll fry back bacon, drink beer. and The Canadians made like the space arm for the shuttle, eh? Well, I'd like to know, like, can you use it to open a beer? And, and can you use it to hold the beer and then, like, bring it up to your mouth? I figure if it was designed in Canada, eh, it's got to be able to open a beer, which means those guys that go out there, the astronauts, are, like, having a beauty time up there with that arm. Okay, like, oh. now you tell, you tell me. Okay. It's, there's no gravity up there. The beer goes flying up. So then you just hold your head over it. Well, they certainly aren't a challenge to anyone's intellect. I mean, that's the one thing about Bob and Doug McKenzie, you know. If, if there ever was a, a definition of the lowest common denominator, I think that's it. They're, well, I mean, I believe in the guys. I'm not demeaning <laughs> them. The theme of Bob and Doug is the search for the topic, so we never really do have topics we just sort of uh, wing it. it it helps to keep it fresh so it's the, the reason i think why we're still doing it is it's it's exciting because i never know what he's going to say and he never knows what i'm going to say take off <coughs> oh do it dave thomas who has a master's degree in english literature isn't happy with this run it's a little rusty yeah. today, but I... good day so he and rick moranis do a second take something which almost never happens I'm too tired to do this Roll on the court we go. Don't hit me. And big and grease spatula hot cheek. Take off. Don't get that on me, hose head. Come go. on. What? Go. Oh, Do I'm doing a special Christmas theme today. Yeah. yeah. Go. Okay, good day. I'm Bob McKenzie. Welcome to Great White North. I'm Bob McKenzie. This is my brother, Doug. How's it going? Okay, eh? this is our Christmas show, eh? Yeah. So, like, that's our There's topic. our Christmas tree. Yeah. And Hosehead here yeah. had the idea of just having a steel spike at the top take to off. decorate it. We're Zoom in on the tree. No, no, no. Come on, no, move over. Take up off. to the top. No, Zoom here, up. that's what you do with that. That was off. There. Oh, that's beauty. for the top. Bob and Doug have given Canadians a rare and telling glimpse of themselves. Here, the International Hoser Day Parade honors Bob and Doug's discovery of 
the elusive Canadian identity. This is a cause for celebration because the true nature of the Canadian psyche is almost never revealed. The original hosers, Bob and Doug, are based on down-to-earth Canadians. And now those same Canadians delight in imitating Bob and Doug. This was Dad's car, but I think we got to put it back together for him. <laughs> for flipping back bacon like this, eh? Hey, little hard hey, like this really got back bacon in here, eh? Hard with flipping hey, here. Don't hey, zoom hey. in on him, eh? Zoom in on me, eh? Hey, off. See you guys later. Zoom in on me. No, hey, you. No. Zoom in on me. The incredibly popular Great White North sketches are improvised several at a time and on camera. To have a topic. Maybe if you have a show, it's a good idea to have a topic coming in. Good luck, guys. Take off. Good luck. We don't know what we're going to talk about. Again. Dave Thomas, with the earmuffs, comes out of Second City Theatre. I'm thinking real hard now. Rick Moranis' background is in radio and television. We're recording. And as often as not, the cameras are rolling before they make up their minds about what their next improvisation will be. Yours. Cool. Good day and welcome to the Great White North. I'm Doug Whoa, McKenzie. Oh, that's this is my, my brother, job. Bob. Coo 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 Okay, first so today's topic, topic is, is space. My top. Our topic is snow roots. No, it's space. The only thing that that I didn't really share with these people was the the experience of improvisation on the second city stage which i imagine was was hair raising from time to time but um that's what what i'm getting now from bob and doug mckenzie actually because we do Im improvise the thing and a lot of the personal appearances that we've made at bob and doug have as bob and doug ha have been touch and go we've come very close to going down and then at the last minute come up with something dumb topic space arm Wait till we uh, talk to Caballero, then he'll tell you that my topic was better. Light reflection. You're hypnotizing me. I'm hypnotizing all hosers. Concentrate on my brother Doug's hose head. Cut. <laughs> okay, well, that's our show <laughs> for today. Which just goes to prove that you can do a show with, like, very little preparation, eh? Hoser mania is reaching epidemic proportions. The McKenzie brothers have added new words, new phrases, and new habits to life in Canada. This sort of popularity is always of interest to the U.S. networks. Initially, NBC was, were they, they weren't crazy about Bob and Doug until after, uh, until they started hearing about the mail. Then, then they loved it. What, you mean people from the States write in about this? Oh, we <laughs> love those two characters. They're great. We'll have them back. I said too much about NBC as it is, you know. Ultimately, I'm going to have to suck up to them and, uh, and be real nice and fawn over them and, tell them that I didn't mean anything that I said that was nasty in the past. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Mackenzie Brothers craze builds with the launching of their first album. Our topics are our album and, oh, my brother's finger. What happened? Whoa. Broke his finger, eh? Yeah. Hey, Doc, tell him, eh? I was picking my nose and we hit a car. Yeah. <laughs> the kids started it, but now Hoser Mania is a fad all over North America. And the media enthusiastically zooms in on their new targets. Look, they're coming closer. Oh, gee. Oh, no. You. A pair of homegrown clowns who become international stars by insisting on being Canadian. Here you are, two men with their fingers on the pulse of this country. Where? Right on the pulse. Beauty. So far, What's we haven't wrong? heard any beating. What's wrong with Canada? Nothing. What's wrong, eh? Jeez, I don't know. know. I think Canada, it's beauty here. It's great, it's white, and it's in the north. So take off. 